Well, hi guys, welcome back. Okay, a funny story. I just taped almost the entire chapter of chapter eight in Junie B. Jones, which is the chapter I'm gonna read right now. And when I was about 80% done, my doorbell rang. I'm sitting in my living room right now. So I had to stop the taping and restart it. It is Chipotle. Um, well, this is, you're gonna see this tomorrow, but today is Chipotle free delivery day. So my boys apparently ordered lunch and I didn't know that. So funny story, I have to start over, but you're gonna love this chapter, it's really good. Okay, so before I get started, um, some of you might have noticed that I accidentally uploaded chapter seven of Junie B. Jones before chapter six, and I didn't realize that I had done that. I thought that I hit schedule on my chapter seven. Um, I'm still learning YouTube, so I apologize if you saw those out of order, but no big deal. You just have to go back and watch them in order. Um, I always put the chapter so you know when you're looking at the videos. And also a quick shout out and thank you to Miss Jill, who is the one that is sending you all these links through Illuminate. And remember, and I should have said this at the beginning, just another thank you to Scholastic for letting all of the teachers and administrators um, read books and put them on YouTube right now during this coronavirus thing because typically this would be a copyright concern. So shout out and thank you to Random House. Um, they're the author, they're the copyright publishers for Junie B. Jones and also for Scholastic and Holes. Okay, quick joke. What did one toilet say to the other toilet? You look flushed. <laughs> okay, that one was a Google joke. I thought it was kind of funny. Okay, chapter seven in Junie B. Jones, just a quick recap was, I'm gonna show you my favorite picture. Junie B in trouble in the principal's office because Mrs. is in there and she was explaining to Junie B that she should have probably asked the store manager if she could try the grapes um, and she didn't do it right but she was saying everybody can learn and there's Junie B hiding under the principal's desk. Um, she was saying how she she should have, I can't really see if I'm showing you these pictures, sorry, I'm not doing a great job of that. She was saying she should have definitely asked and she didn't do it the right way, but that even teachers and principals make mistakes too. But then at the very end of chapter seven, it was funny because Junie B thought that, oh, well the, the missus said that she made a mistake and I'm not in trouble. But then she said, oh yeah, and I saw you and your strange man do a smoochy big kiss and it was right in front of the whole entire everybody. And I know that because only I know because I was spying on you and that's when she realized she gave away her secret that she had been spying. And it sounds like her mom has not been wanting her to do that. So chapter eight is the last chapter in this book and it's called Grandparents Day. Mrs. went back to room nine. That's because the bell rang to start kindergarten, of course. Only principal didn't let me go too. He said to stay in my wood chair. Then he called mother on the telephone and he told her all about the grocery store and also about my, speaky, my sneaky peaky spying. Principal is a squealer. After that, mother said she wanted to talk to me. Only when I said hi, she didn't even say hi back. She said she wasn't very happy with me, Missy, and no more spying means no more spying, and we would talk about this after work. Then mother said she never wants to get any more calls from principal. Did I understand? Did I? Did I? I looked at principal. Mother says not to call her anymore, I told him. Then mother did a loud groan in the phone, except I don't know why. After that, me and her hanged up and principal said I could go to room nine. And so I run there speedy quick. Only too bad for me, cause I got there too late to sing my country tizzy thee, sweet land of liver free, which is my favorite flat flag song. And so I just had to sit right down at my table and that's all. I showed Lucille my band-aid. See, my head's not blowed up, I said, very happy. Too bad, said a mean boy named Jim. I made a fist at him. Then me and him got into a scuffle. Scuffle is the school word for, I accidentally tore his shirt. Only guess what, I didn't even get in trouble. Cause just then, the grandparents came to room nine for grandparents day. Hey, there's mine, there's mine, I hollered very excited. Mine is the grandpa with the baldy head. Mine too, said a girl named Charlotte. Mine too, said my boyfriend named Ricardo. <gasps> Ooh, Junie B. Jones has a boyfriend. 
Then a grandma with blonde hair came in and she had on long red fingernails and dangly earrings with jewels on them. That's my Nana, said Lucille. I smiled at her. Your Nana looks like a money bags, Lucille, I said. After that, another grandma came in and she run over to that meanie Jim and she tried to hug him very tight. Only that mean Jim just kept on standing there and he didn't even hug her back. I tapped on her. I will hug you, I said. And then, so she and me hugged real tight. And here's a picture of that. And you can see Junie B. Jones right there. And look at Meanie Jim's face. I love his face here. I hate your grand boy, I said very sweet. Just then, Mrs. clapped her loud hands together and she made the grandparents sit down in the back of the room. Then the children talked all about what we do in room nine. It is fun here, said my bestest friend, that Grace. We learn to count and to read and to wash our hands after we go to the bathroom. And we learn recess and snacks and art, said Ricardo. Art is my favorite, I called out. Only my art didn't get hanged up because I painted a horse and his head turned out like a fat wiener sausage. And so I had to tear it up and stomp on it with my shoes. Then that mean Jim did a cuckoo sign at me. And it was right in front of the whole entire grandparents. Yeah, only everybody makes mistakes, I said. Right, Mrs., right? Because on Saturday, you kissed a strange man at the grocery store. And then you stole a bunch of grapes. And so even teachers make mistakes, right? <sighs> Mrs. Face went funny. Then her skin turned the color of reddish. And her voice couldn't say any words. How come you're not talking, Mrs.? I hollered out. Does the dead cat got your tongue? Just then, Grandma Miller made a loud laugh in the back of the room. Then I heard my grandpa laugh, too. And pretty soon, lots of other grandparents were laughing and laughing. Hey, it sounds happy in this place, I hollered. After that, Mrs. didn't look so reddish anymore. Then we got out the freshmen's, and Grandma Miller helped me put my cookies on a plate. Mrs. made announcement to room nine, and she said, only two cookies apiece for the children. Except for I ate four delicious chocolate ones and nobody even saw me. Only that's not called stealing. That's called extras. After the freshmen, the grandparents had to go home to their houses. And so I hugged my grandma and grandpa very much. And then I hugged that mean Jim's grandma too. And also Lucille's money bag's Nana. Love your earrings, I said. Then Mrs. saw me being polite and she smiled very nice at me. Mrs. has white teeth. They are just like Grandpa Miller's teeth. Only hers don't come out, I think. Except I'm not for sure positive. And so guess what? I still wish I could hide in her hamper. That's what. <sighs> okay, that is the end of chapter eight. But there are some funny things at the end I wanna share. These are things that are really, really funny that Junie B is known to say. So things that Junie B says a lot. Kindergarten. Kindergarten is where you go to meet new friends and not watch TV. The principal's office. That's where the boss of the school lives. His name is Principal. Principal is a baldy. Books. Right now, I just like the kind of books with pictures. But Mother says when I get big, I'm going to like the kind with just words and also stewed tomatoes. Okay, these are things that she says about everything and everybody. Pencil sharpeners. An electric pencil sharpener makes a nice noise and you can make pencils as teeny as you want. You just keep pushing them into the little hole and they just keep on getting teenier and teenier. It doesn't work on the crayons though. I tried a red one, then the pencil sharpener slowed way down and then it made a sound. And after that, it didn't go anymore. Sniffing. Dogs can smell everything. People can mostly just smell big smells like stink and flowers and dinner. The nurse's office. It's very cute in that place. There are two little beds where you get to lie down and two little blankets that are the color of plaid. The bathrooms. Oh, Junie's, this is what Junie B thinks about bathrooms. There's two kinds of bathrooms in our school, a boy's kind and a girl's kind. I can't go in the boy's kind though because no girl's allowed, that's why. Nail polish. I'm only allowed to have the kind of polish that makes nails look shiny. Its name is clear. Clear is the color of spit. 
And guess what? She is still talking. The game Old Maid. Do you ever do you know that game Old Maid? If you're off and you guys need something fun to play, ask your parents about Old Maid. Me and my grandpa Miller played Old Maid and I winned him five whole times in a row. That's because I kept on putting the Old Maid way higher than the rest of my cards. And he kept on picking, on, picking it. Grandpa Frank Miller is a sucker, I think. Jeannie B. And the last one is Babysitter Instructions. Babysitter Instructions is all the stuff I'm not allowed to do. Like no climbing on top of the refrigerator, no putting lipstick on my dog named Tickle, and no making Ollie lick a potato. Except for he didn't actually mind it that much. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed hearing Junie B. Jones and the Sneaky Peaky Spying, and I will be starting a new chapter book. Um, I'm going to read a picture book tomorrow just to give us a little break, and then I'm going to be reading a new chapter book. So tune in, and I hope that you email me and tell me how you like it. Bye, guys. <laughs>